A common complaint that I hear very often is, what kind of walker should I buy? There's lots to choose from, and it's, it can be very difficult um, and to help with your mobility assistance. I'm going to review the options um, to help you pick the best to suit your particular needs. There is the standard walker, which I'm sure all of the listeners are, are, have seen. It basically they have the four legs, um, with non-skid rubber tips on the ends and it is, provides you with the best weight uh, security. However, it's a little bit more of a challenge to walk with because, as you have to pick them up and move them along as you're, as you're moving forward. The other one is a two-wheel walker. It has four legs but the two front legs have wheels on them. This provides still some weight uh, assistance but some also balance assistance and it's easier to move along with. The third one is a three-wheeled walker and I like to call this one the freewheeler because it's very compact having only three legs. Uh, it, it folds together, it's very light so if you're still quite um, uh, uh, independent and you move into your car, into your condo, uh, into your doctor's office all by yourself this is so mobile, agile, and light that it's easily manageable to move in and out of your car. The, the last one I want to discuss is the four-wheel walker, where the four legs all have wheels on them. And this provides balance support, um, and it's very much more mobile. Um, now, in addition to those four basic models, there are other options that you have to consider to make it best for the needs that you have. Is, the, is, the, is it the right grip? If you are arthritic, you want to have a wider grip to be, hang on to. If you've got the four wheels, it's a good idea to have brakes so that you can manage yourself going downhill or if you're wanting to stop somewhere, um, th that is a really a very important option. Is it the right size? You want to make sure that when you're using it that you reduce the stress on your back and your shoulders. So there's about a 15 degree elbow um, flex in your elbow and that the arms are uh, the right height um, um, uh, for the walker. Um, there are other accessories to help you as well. Some seats so that you may take a rest when you're walking. There's a basket to put some groceries if you're going to do some shopping, a cup holder for hydration, um, and even a foot trays that you may be able to use if you're resting. These are all tips that you have to keep in mind when searching for the right option for your mobility assistance. I hope you found this helpful.